Welcome to the Radiation Risks and Exposures mini-series, where we discuss hazards in today's common medical radiation practices. Today, we're going to talk about scatter radiation. When we talk about scatter radiation, there are three things that we are concerned about. The first is going to be the operator dose, how radiation can bounce off of objects or patients and affect the physician. The second will be patient dose. And then the third is image quality. Today, we're going to talk specifically about operator dose. So let's put this in a real world example. It's important to remember that x-rays behave as light. So you're at the beach and you are sunbathing. All of a sudden, you feel that you are beginning to get sunburnt because you forgot to put on sunscreen. What you are being burnt from is actually energy in the form of light coming from the sun. We call this a photon. And then you look out into the ocean and see that there is light reflecting off of the ocean and coming towards you. This is going to be what's called an incident photon, which is where light or energy in the form of light bounces off of the ocean and is deflected towards you. This is a form of scatter radiation. So remembering that x-rays behave as light, we can demonstrate this in a clinical setting. You see here the oval, we'll say that's the patient. He's laying on a table in between an interventional system. We have a doc standing over him. Let's go ahead and call the doc doc doc. What's going to happen is an x-ray is going to be emitted and it might pass through the patient. This is the photon. However, some photons can hit the patient and deflect towards the doctor in the upper body, or they can hit the table and be deflected towards the physician's lower body. These are the incident photons, the photons that are being redirected from the patient or the table. It's much more common for a physician to be affected in the lower body due to increased density of the table than the patient. So what are some effects from scatter radiation? Well, you can have non-stochastic effects, which simply means that as you increase the dose exposure, you increase the severity of the effect, or stochastic, which means that as you increase the dose, you increase the probability of the effect. So, for example, let's go back to our sunbathing demonstration. If you sit out in the sun for a long period of time, you will have more severe sunburn for the longer that you sit out in the sun, the longer that you are exposed. This is a non-stochastic effect, and this happens with cataracts as well. Whereas stochastic effects, if you were to sit in the sun for a long period of time, over a period of five years, you increase the risk of developing skin cancer. These are just demonstrations of how x-rays can affect physicians through scatter radiation. You can develop non-stochastic effects through increasing dose exposure and increasing the severity through inappropriate shielding, and you can also develop the risk of cancer over your lifelong exposure to the x-ray dosage. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe down below.